With a population of around 120,000 people, Chikomba is one of the largest districts in Mashalaland East Province. The district is home to a variety of agricultural activities and these include crop farming, horticulture, livestock and poultry production. We also have uh, A1 and A2 resettlement farmers, uh, small scale commercial farmers and a few large scale commercial farmers. Uh, we had a lot of projects uh, planned for the year. Chikomba district lies under Agricultural Ecological Region 3 and its rainfall ranges from 500 to 800 millimeters in a good season and sometimes below 300 millimeters during bad seasons. This often threatens crop farming and livestock production. In Chikomba West, agricultural activities focus more on commercial production of maize and millet together with livestock activities like poultry production, pork, dairy cattle, as well as beef cattle ranching. Currently, we have a milking head of over uh, 120 cows. We are milking two times a day, producing at least 2,600 liters of milk per day. Tinoshansa cotton cake, sunflower, ne maize brand, ne pre-mix. Tinoshansa we mix such calf which is milkers. Ne madzima ento shanda na yini dinukuruwa avu. So far in Zimbabwe, I think we are the biggest. Lake Dale Farm. Jiburi kids are ne land reform. Ye the government of Zimbabwe. Jiburi kids are ne new dispensation. Ye president we don't want to go. We are sure we are the yes one of the business is even more comedy. We are in stage four. We are in Buru. We are in Grower. We are in Winners. Masau. We are about four hundred twelve. We are in Kwanda. About two hundred and five. Tinema market to Guarari. Saga Papa Spano, Shina Guabatua, Trisa Batua, Sono Rayo, Zarewa, Taku Takura, Zaguenda marketing Guarari. Tatengesa Takus of Kansa, Kutengash Kaf, Shenguru, Badarashanti, Nugumendi no Matangedu, Nutinga machinery, the Papa Spana. The district also relies on irrigation schemes such as Nyawoni, Sachipiri, Manyanga, and Chikwezero. However, some of these schemes require extensive rehabilitation for improved food security in the district. There is great need for the resuscitation of Masasa, Sadza and Narira dams to sustain agricultural activities in the district. The government of Zimbabwe is also funding a green belt close to the Chivu Dam which is under construction. Upon completion, the dam is expected to boost irrigation activities in the district. Chikomba district has vast investment opportunities in the agriculture sector that range from dam construction, irrigation development, meat processing, as well as beneficiation of agricultural produce. Mm -hmm.